But new storm shelters are now open in a green country town already hit hard by a tornado. And they're some of the most unique ones in the entire state. Hard work and fundraising is now paying off in Spavanaugh with those new shelters, which can nearly fit the entire town. News on Six's Justin Schreyer is on the scene tonight in Spavanaugh with more. Justin. Yeah, guys, when the weather is threatening, people can get to safety inside these two massive shelters. And just to give you an idea, each one of these shelters is about 30 feet long and 7 feet wide. And for a town of about 400, the mayor says these shelters will save lives. Just in time for the first threat of this severe storm season, Spavanaugh's unique new storm shelters are finally open. It's a relief since a tornado hit the Mays County town five years ago. We'd have to go back to 2013. We had our first tornado, took out quite a bit of the town and different things. The tornado damaged more than 30 homes, peeled the roof off the old school building and left many people uneasy. Google donated two 20,000 pound cooling tanks, which the town repurposed into shelters. It's taken a while to raise enough money to convert them but the shelters are now open. These storm shelters are beneficial to me so the citizens of Spavanaugh can actually get to safety when needed and as quickly as possible. The tanks are a quarter inch of steel, have FEMA certified doors on the outside, along with a concrete structure and a handicapped accessible ramp. Mayor Jim Wynn says the shelters are a necessity. It's uh, very important for everybody. Feels good. At least we got a safe place for our residents. Mayor Wynn says right now the shelters have battery powered lights and they also have vents. But the town hopes to eventually run electricity to the shelters and make more improvements. We'd like to put some benches in, but we're going to need to raise some more money or something. As they raise money, they also hope to raise awareness that the shelters are open and ready. Now, Spavanaugh police officers will even give people rides to the shelter if they don't have a way to get there. If you're looking to donate, you can enter our website, newson6.com. Live on the scene, on the story in Mays County, Justin Schreer, News on 